the exercise, what, so what, now what? What was the exercise itself, the interviewing process, when you had an opportunity to interview your brother? So what were the questions that you asked? What did you think about the exercise? What did you learn? How did you learn from it? Now what? How does this help you as a Sigma Chi? How can you take this back to your chapter? What are you going to do with this exercise in the future? Okay, guys, cool, great. Let me have your attention here. So you just had a minute to interview your brother, and you had him talk for one minute, and you talked for about one minute. Um, what did you think about the exercise? Uh, we got to know the other party mm -hmm. at, at a different level, I guess. Okay, okay, anything else? The questions became harder as we went on. How did it become hard? Um, well, first they were just really short answer, or easy questions, and they could fry them off in one word, and then as it went on, they became deeper questions that you had to think about. It was more of an opportunity to get more of a personal introduction to, to one another and someone more, more uh, on a more personal level, as opposed to just you know the brief introductions that we typically have. I know what about. they're really about, rather than just where they're from. Well, you know what I thought was neat when we were talking is that you kind of realize we have a lot more similarities not outside of Simakai, which is really cool. Excellent. What did you learn? You might have talked about it, but what did you really learn? Well, you learn that most conversations you have with other people, you don't learn all that much about them until you ask deeper questions. Uh -huh. I think you learn that, that judgment is a very powerful human instinct, and that you can always judge a book by its cover, and it's important that really get to know someone and, and spend the time and, and, and really dig deep into to who they are and where they come from and their background. And I think the most one of the things you learn is that your idea or your, your what you think isn't always right. You know, sometimes it needs to be validated by other people or even challenged, and I think that's really, really powerful. Another question. How do you think this made you better as a Sigma Chi? I think by being able to know somebody at a a stronger level made uh, made me feel like I was closer to the person. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. A new appreciation for the diversity of our brotherhood. You know that we all come from very different places, yet we do have a lot of commonalities, and that's a very beautiful thing. I think the great thing about sorry, the great thing about Sigma Chi is that we come from different geographic regions, and your chapter is different than our chapter, but yet we do things in a way that I can take back the Sigma Chi to implement immediately because it's it's proven that it's, it's worked. And that's a good thing. Now what? How do we take this exercise back to our own individual chapter? Well, I think just doing it is part of it. I mean, as we've said, that we, we learning experience in this is we ask a lot of superficial questions. We kind of superficially know our brothers, and yet we spend 10 minutes here doing a simple exercise and learned that, you know, there wasn't, I didn't really know people as well as I thought. And by having this happening in our, in our undergraduate chapter, um, I think that might open some eyes there too. Any other thoughts? No, that's a great point. It's almost like we live with these people back home, but we don't really know them. And just a little simple exercise that I want to take back will really help me understand who my brothers that I live with on an everyday basis better. Great. Excellent. Let's move on to something else now. Great. <laughs>